All right, so in tonight's video, we're going to be dividing rationals. In class, we multiplied. Uh, and dividing is not much different. But as you can see by the steps I, I wrote on this title slide here, dividing rationals, we're going to flip the second fraction and then multiply. So the only difference between multiplication and division is division, you need to flip the second fraction, and then it just turns into multiplication. In green down there, I wrote factor all you can. Uh, just like when we multiplied, we want to factor everything. That way we can cancel something out. We cannot cancel something out unless it's in factored form and they're identical. Just like we've done the past couple weeks, if they're kind of close, we don't cancel them. They have to be exactly the same. All right, so we'll do some examples. I think there's three of them. All right, so my first example here, we don't have to factor because it's all factored for me already. So all we're going to do here is we're going to flip the second fraction. And by second fraction, I mean this one. So since I'm not doing anything to the first fraction, I'm just going to write that down. So x plus 2, x plus 3 over x plus 1. We're going to change this to multiplication, and we're going to flip this fraction. All right, now if you remember from class, multiplication, we're just going to make a real big fraction here. And everything that's on top of my two little fractions, we're going to put on top of our big fraction. So x plus 2, x plus 3, and x plus 1, make sure you always use parentheses. So all of that's going to go on top of my big fraction. Everything on bottom is going to go on bottom of my big fraction. So we have x plus 1, x plus 3. Now everything's factored, so we're good there. Now we have to see, can we cancel anything out? And hopefully by now we can cancel stuff out since we've been doing it for so long. But x plus 1, x plus 1, x plus 3, x plus 3. So the only thing left here is x plus 2. And whatever's left over is my answer. All right, so we flip our second fraction, and then we just multiply. So we had x plus 3 over x plus 1. I flipped it and turned it into x plus 1 over x plus 3, and then I changed the division symbol to multiplication. All right, let's do another one. This one isn't as nice. I didn't factor for you, so we'll have to factor x squared plus 7x plus 6. So we have x squared plus 7x, plus 6. That factors to x plus 6, x plus 1. Then we need to factor x squared plus 6x plus 8. That factors to x plus 4, x plus 2. I've said this a hundred times in class, but I'll say it again. If you cannot factor, you need to come talk to me. Or go back. There's an Ed Puzzle video from September or October, and you can go back and refresh your memory on how to factor. So all I'm doing here is I rewrote my first fraction, but I wrote it in factored form. So instead of the quadratic equations that we started with, we still have quadratic, but I wrote them as factors. Now, we have this, basically the same problem, except if we remember with division, I need to flip my second fraction. So, oops. So, x plus 4, x plus 6 over x plus 4 is what I started with. I'm going to change that to x plus 4 over x plus 6. And I would always put everything in parentheses. You don't have to, but it's going to make your life a lot easier. And then just like we did in class today, we're going to make a big fraction. Everything on, in the numerator of the two little fractions is going to go on top of our big fraction. So x plus 6, x plus 1 and x plus 4 are going to go on top of our big fraction. 
everything in the denominator of our little fractions is going to go in the denominator of our big fraction. <clears throat> now we need to look, does anything cancel? I have an x plus 6 up top, x plus 6 on bottom. I have an x plus 1 on top. I don't have an x plus 1. I have an x plus 4 on top and an x plus 4 on bottom. So what's left over is x plus 1 over x plus 2. So again, this is the same thing as multiplication, but you flip the second fraction before you multiply when we're dividing. Last one. And this one I just want to remind us how to factor these. They're called difference of squares. So x squared minus 4, we take the square root of both terms. So we have x plus 2, x minus 2, because the square root of 4 is 2, so it's plus or minus 2. And then 9x squared minus 1, the square root of 9 is 3, so it's going to be 3x. The square root of 1 is 1, so because we have a 9x, we have to have the square, 9x squared. We have to do the square root of 9, which is 3, so it's going to be 3x. The square root of 1 is 1, so it's plus or minus 1. All right, so we have x plus 2, and again, I'm just going to throw everything in parentheses divided by x plus 2, x minus 2. And we're just going to write in factored form. Now, to actually divide, we flip, change multiplication, and then we flip our second fraction. And then just like in class today, for the third time on the video, when we multiply, we make one big fraction, and everything in the numerator of our little fractions goes in the numerator of our big fraction. Everything in the denominator of our little fractions goes in the denominator of our big fraction. And now we see... Oops. Does anything cancel? So I have an x plus 2 on top. I have an x plus 2 on bottom. I have a 3x plus 1 on top. I don't have a 3x plus 1 on bottom. I have a 3x minus 1 on top. I have a 3x minus 1 on bottom. So what's left over after we cancel everything out is 3x plus 1 over x minus 2. All right, so when we're dividing rational expressions, we flip the second fraction, and then it just turns into a multiplication problem. And remember, when we're multiplying, dividing, and later when we get to adding and subtracting, you still want to factor our, everything we can. So multiply and divide, we want to factor everything we can. All right, I'll see you all in class tomorrow.